Okay, so uh, let's put uh, a paint layer on this. So I've selected the top layer and I'm just adding the paint layer. And now we can, you know, free paint on here and, you know, add some details. So first of all, I want to put uh, like a, an arrow symbol. So I'm going to select a brush initially. And uh, let's just pick the hard basic. Here we go. And now we're going to update its alpha. So the alphas are here and we just want a, an arrow pointing up. So this long arrow here should be absolutely fine. If I click on it, it should just immediately add to the alpha. So I'm just going to get like a, a straight on view here and then scale my brush up. So let's scale up a little bit. So I've got uh, control held down, right mouse and I'm dragging left to right. And then I actually want to rotate it as well. So let's rotate it 90 degrees. And whoops, that's the wrong 90 degrees. Let's try minus 90. No, of course not. 270 then. And uh, we've got it pointing up. So let's just take that down a bit. Uh, I need to give this some sort of material property. And uh, I do not want height or metal or uh, normal I just want color and rough and I want to uh, increase my roughness actually let's have it less rough than everything else and we'll give it a near black color so then I just paste that on essentially uh, you might notice that it looks like it's transparent but it's not it's just not overriding the height information underneath it and you know that's fine it's just like a thin layer of paint um, you wouldn't expect it to completely override the grain underneath it okay so uh, what I also would want to do is write some text on here and we can do that with a brush so if we go to the brushes uh, and type font no that's not the right one where am I I want the alphas and write font. Uh, it comes up with some writable fonts. So I'm going to pick uh, something like this. And now that's changed my brush. Uh, I've got the same properties on it, but it's gone into like a, a text mode. And if I come down a little bit, alpha aperture parameters, you'll see it says text and I can type in this way up and then when I go into my view here I can scale my text up and down and just pop that in there just for you know uh, yeah just to make it you know add a few details to so I could repeat that all the way around. You could do all sorts of things. Um, I could change this text and write fragile. Oops, I appear to have turned mirroring on. Let's turn that off. Make this much bigger. Oops, I've undone my text. Fragile. And I can increase my size here. Uh, but you may notice that at some point in time you kind of lose the edges so let's just take that back down a little bit there we go give it a bit of a uh, bit of an angle and yes decorate your uh, you know your your crate as you want um, you've got all sorts of alphas that you can use if I take this filter off so you know we've got uh, there's like a nuclear symbol there's lots of dirt and uh, all sorts of things and somewhere down here we've got some like hazard signs and things like that uh, which we could use to, to sort of decorate around this thing so let's go and have a look uh, uh, I know they're here somewhere here we are um, so we've got like a biohazard we've got a caution so I could pop that on the side here there we go it on the top as well just rotate it in a different direction yeah so I'm not you know trying to 
you know do a, a thoroughly good job on this I'm just trying to you know make it look reasonably nice and if I want to change the color for example uh, say I uh, you know wanted to put um, a red sign or a you know a uh, yellow sign or something along those lines we just have to change the color so let me go and find something I would like to put on here uh, so yes we need to obviously wear a gas mask for this so we can size that down a little bit go down to my color uh, I want this to be uh, red and then you know we can paste that in actually uh, this kind of needs inverting so where's our alpha so on our alpha we've got parameters inverse let's set that to true and now we've got it the other way around although you know we're not getting the uh, the nice cut off so I've picked a terrible one essentially uh, so let's pick uh, another one uh, let's fire one here perhaps there we go now all those are very clean uh, which is really really annoying and we want to break them up so what I'm going to do is add a new layer over that and to that I'm going to add a black mask and to that black mask we'll add a generator and we'll use the dirt generator again now what we're going to do with this generator is uh, cut through our uh, our signs so on the layer itself which I seem to have created a paint layer foolish man sorry I need to do that again so it's a fill layer right click add black mask right click add generator and then we'll select the dirt generator and you'll see it throws dirt all over and we just need to kind of update this dirt to you know make it nice so I'm going to darken it a bit and then we'll adjust the generator so that it's not quite so overpowering uh, so select dirt we'll take the dirt level down take the contrast down as well to make it really really soft just something so that you know we're not completely uh, you yeah, know nothing's completely clean uh, let's increase the grunge a bit and take the scale oops down yeah yeah it's all getting a bit muddy now uh, but that's okay because we can adjust the blend uh, so I'm going to take the blend down so that it is much more subtle there we go and then I can turn that off and on and you'll see the effect it has so let's uh, take the dirt level down a bit dirt contrast up a bit turn the layer off to see the effect it's having oh, that's great okay to, to break it up further we could add a fill layer to that so if we add a fill layer to our uh, mask and I'm just going to go to textures and find something that's got a lot of black and white contrast in it uh, but is noisy uh, la, 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 la. there we go this grunge map if I drag and drop that into there that will initially overwrite our uh, dirt map but if I turn this to multiply it will combine it's just that I need to invert this map so let's invert that that's not invert invert is there there we go so now we've got dirt in some areas and not in others and it's not quite so you know uniform okay so I think that's all I'm going to do on that for the moment I might make a, a couple of adjustments here and there uh, but in the next video what we'll do is we'll export this out get it into uh, blender and set it up so I'll talk to you then